Let me take you back now to the situation in Rustenburg, where the Mineral Resources and Energy Minister, Gwede Mantashe, is set to deliver a keynote address at a two-day Northwest Provincial Mining Investment Conference. The mining industry, government and investors will be represented. There was a bit of a situation a short while ago with the crowds there uh, and Minister Mantashe interacting with them. Let's go back now to the Northwest in Rustenburg and pick up uh, the conversation there with ENCA's Heidi Jokos. Heidi, we saw the Minister Gwede Mantashe surrounded by crowds of people there. Please just help us make sense of what we were watching a short while ago. Was he prevented from speaking at this investment conference or did this happen after he had addressed the conference? So, Tulas, when we arrived here uh, earlier this morning, we did see crowds gathered outside of this hotel here in the northwest. And uh, what we do understand is it was uh, mine workers and communities nearby trying to get the attention of the Minister um, of Mineral Resources, Gwede Mandashe. And uh, then he went on to give his keynote address. And soon after he gave his keynote address, we don't know how they got access into the property because there was quite tight security at the gate. They moved moved into the premises where uh, the tent is, uh, where this investor conference is happening, and this is where they demanded to get inside, and then uh, security personnel, of course, tried to close the doors, it became a bit rough, and that's when they tried to push the doors open. The minister then stood up and said he will engage with these members to try and understand what the actual problem is. This is when he went outside, and those were the visuals that we brought to you live, where he was, in fact, uh, outside engaging with the community. It seems as though the community is saying that they've been trying to reach out to the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy for some time now, and they have had no access to the minister or to the department. They are claiming that um, a specific mine is not uh, giving them opportunities and giving them uh, opportunities to work with the mine, but rather giving them to big companies. So it becomes a problem when they are unable to use the smaller players in the game, and this is where uh, this problem arose. So, uh, of course, the police were on standby should anything happen, but the minister was in the middle of that crowd where he was trying to defuse the situation, engage. The outcome of that, we are still trying to get to uh, the community. Uh, we'll go there a little later on, but uh, we do understand that the minister is saying, send me an invite and I will more than gladly come and engage with you. So, uh, Tulas, I just want to keep this going a little more because uh, we are expecting the minister uh, any moment now. There is a break, so we do understand that he will be coming out uh, to speak to the media. But uh, I'm not sure if uh, it seems as though the police have actually left. I think they went over uh, to the gate again, but uh, it was quite a volatile situation. Tulas, you can imagine how tense it becomes when you have have a group of people storming this investment conference and you have the minister sitting inside, they are adamant that they want to come in and uh, they of course uh, have been told, but you weren't invited to this conference, so why are you forcing yourself into the venue? Um, it's actually not okay. And uh, the community member saying, well, we have no other way to get the minister's attention. Um, so it becomes quite uh, difficult and complex, of course. This is not the first time we've seen this. I remember at a previous event with the minister, community members did the very same thing in Mpumalanga. Uh, but we are seeing the minister coming uh, to us. So if I can just ask you to bear with me, I'm going to move out of shot so we can get the minister um, positioned here for us so we can ask him. Hello, minister. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Thank you so much for being with us. Um, you're live on ENCA. I just want to get your response to the community that was here. What have they told you and what's the outcome? No, no, they call themselves a business forum. And we've advised them that a business forum invites us. We've been to many areas invited by business forum. If they want to invite us, let them invite us. They don't disrupt an event that is not theirs. They accepted that and we uh, go different ways peacefully. Minister, I just want to ask you with regards to Lily Mine. Uh, we do know that uh, the families are positioned outside the mine. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they've been camping there for a thousand days. They've indicated that they've no, received. Just hold on. Just 30 days from the incident. It's thousand days from the incident. Okay, well, okay. No, our reporter Sifa Mandagog is there. They've been camping outside the mine. No. The question is can I just give you my question? No, let me, let me explain. This is the thousandth day from the incident. 
They had a night vigil. Okay, so report properly on that. I am reporting properly. Okay. If you could just let me ask my question. Okay, can I just ask my question? Ask uh, they have indicated that they've received no support from the department. They don't know when the bodies of the three will be retrieved. What is your response to this? The response is, uh, I don't know what kind of support from the department that they expected. We should know the, the expected support. But we're working, trying to get investors in that mind because a sustainable project to reprieve that box in the mine should be linked to investment to the mine. That is what we're investing our time on because it's a disaster of a private entity. So we've seen many of those uh, disasters of private entities. The state supports and it enforces. If we get an investment, we'll take that box out. So no timeline. The family must just wait for investment. We don't have timelines on something that is not under your control. But Minister, can you understand the frustration of these family members? They are devastated. They cannot bury their loved ones. I'm from Kala. In 2021, I buried three of my siblings. So uh, I don't imagine the feeling. I know the feeling. Okay. Okay, let's uh, speak about this investor conference. Are you confident that uh, uh, the outcomes will be achieved? Uh, what are you hoping comes out of this investment conference? Any investment conference sets a foundation for long processes for people to invest in exploration, in mines, in partnerships. We're hoping that as we network this evening, we'll be able to secure some few deals. If we secure few deals, that is important. But after the conference, people must continue engaging for investment. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Tulas there is the Minister of uh, Mineral Resources, Greta Mantashe, of course, saying that they're waiting on investment to see how they're going to handle the situation at uh, Lily Mine. I actually find that answer quite unsatisfactory, but um, that's the response, Tulas. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's the response, uh, Heidi. That's as, as far as we can take it and leave it for South Africans uh, to make up their minds uh, about the response that is being given. On the thousandth day anniversary of uh, the community around Lily Mine, uh, as well as the uh, former workers of that mine encamping there and demanding that there should be some kind of movement uh, towards trying to retrieve uh, the mortal remains of the three workers um, that, that fell into the ground all those years ago.